What up, what up, what up? This your boy, Cook D. I'm just gonna bring you this worst road rage ever that I ever saw. Now you see the old man on top of the car, the, the guy driving, he looks like he's Hispanic or something. Whatever the case was, the old man gonna run over there, reach inside the car, snatch the man water bottle, bust his window, and then he take off. So what do you really think? What would you do? Would you sit there and don't know what the man gonna do next? Or would you do what this guy did? Let's go! You hanging on for dear life? And I, from what I know, this was a fender bender. It started out as a fender bender. They said old school ran over there to the car, reached in, grabbed the man's water bottle, smashed his window, beating on top of the hood. I would have smashed too. But the bad part about it, the driver got charged with reckless endangerment. What would you do? Exactly, what would you do? Let's watch this guy. <laughs> he trying to, to get off the car. How the hell he supposed to get off? But well, I would've took off too. Because if he had the, the guts to reach in my car and snatch my water bottle and bust my window, what was he gonna do next? And why was the man in the white car charged with records and danger? You know, all he did was he defended himself. Hell, I would have smashed too. Lucky one, well, I would have ran into the back of somebody else's car. Or something like that. Shit crazy. Look at that. On the freeway too. Any people riding past, look like it was rush out. You hear that motor too. With all that traffic. I don't know, but I know the man in the car should have been charged. You couldn't hear him say a few times, get off his car. Now I guess the civilians, they gonna block him in being a good Samaritan. They don't know what happened. They don't know this man to bust his man's window and had this man in fear his life. They don't know all that. All they know is what they see. Watch this. And they ain't gonna try to smash the man out the car. He st I would smash out again. I would tore everything in that in the way and be getting up out of there. Real talk. All I did was think that we had an accident. You did all that. Then you gonna walk up on. Look at the man. He got a gun. Look, y'all. And all that man did was sit in his car to change. Uh, insurance information. That's America, y'all. That's America. He acting like he a cop. He ain't no damn police. I would have tore his thing up, bag it up, and going forward, getting up out of there. Nigga, follow me to the police station on the Jeep. I ain't going. And I can't believe it. Man, the driver, I can't believe he was charging records and dancing after this man did all this stuff to his car and all the old man got was a ticket for disorder. Do you have the right to defend yourself or not? What would you do? Now you got a gun, nigga, I'm pressing charge. You got that gun on me. You got me messed up. You got a gun on me? Oh, you going to jail? Why he, he supposed to go to jail too? Cause he don't know what was going on. This your boy Crick D. Y'all leave comments in that box below. This story is just crazy. Old man bust dude window. He take off to defend himself. And now he get charged worse than the man that, you know, started this stuff. And then the dude with the gun, the police pull up, talking about, put it down, boy, you lucky you wasn't black. They asked you one time, they asked this man three, four times, put that gun down, he lucky he wasn't black. Or he would have been stanked. It's your boy, Crick D, a.k.a. The Boogie Time in the building. You already know, hit that box below, subscribe and all that, and I'm gone!